guys. So we've been getting lots of requests of folks wanting to see a bonker video in action. And so we have a, a video that we'll attach to this uh, showing me bonking a dog in private training. And um, there's many reasons you might bonk a dog. Uh, we'll use a, a bonker for leash reactivity, for aggressive dogs. Um, in this case, we're using it for a nervous, fearful dog, actually, that's incessantly barking. Um, the dog came in for private training and the owner was there and the dog was incessantly barking and aimlessly wandering around, uh, on leash, of course, but, but aimlessly wandering around on leash barking. And I asked the owner, can I bonk the dog? She said, of course, do what you do. So you'll see me mark the bad behavior of the incessant barking. You'll see me mark that with no, very calmly, no. And then uh, I will firmly deploy the bonker. And what that does is it squashes the arousal, sort of throws a wet rag on the fire, if you will. So a bonker is the single best handed tool to de-escalate arousal, okay? So that's why we love them so much um, because of their ability to sort of interrupt the dog's inappropriate thoughts. So in this case, it's the incessant barking that we wanted to interrupt those thoughts. Um, now, I'm well aware of the conversation out there from the um, other end of things of, well, you you throw a towel at a dog who's fearful and nervous, won't that make it worse? And frankly, I've never seen it happen. I've never seen it get worse. I only see it get better. So don't worry about that. You're not screaming and yelling at the dog and then throwing stuff at the dog. You're simply going, no, and then deploying the towel firmly, as firm as you can. It's a cotton towel. You're not gonna hurt a Yorkie. You're not gonna hurt a pit bull. It's a cotton towel. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a video of me bonking a dog in action so you can actually see the technique. The best time to bonk a dog is at the very first sign of arousal. You don't want it to escalate further. So you may be watching the video going, Oh my gosh, the dog just let out a little bark. But what you didn't see was all of the behavior and the incessant barking before the camera started rolling. So the dog had already uh, in the session been barking and carrying on. So when I got the dog in my hands and asked the owner's permission to bonk the dog, um, he let out that first little bark and then that's when I squashed the arousal it was at that point. I didn't wait for it to, to escalate. So I hope this helps. My goal is to help as many of you struggling as possible. I hope this helps you seeing uh, me bonking a dog in real time. Thank you all for always consuming our content. We appreciate well, it. There's how many dogs are here? Is this three, four, <coughs> six? No. six dogs in here. But they're all being quiet. And he's nervous and anxious about what? And that's where you need to say to him, what is your problem? Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be nervous about here. So doing that, because people, I've heard it all. People think, because this is a nervous dog and I just whacked him over the top of the head with a towel, that that's gonna make it worse. I've never, ever seen it make right. it worse. So you have to tell him that's enough. And then that nervous energy that he's, you know, spewing out, he's not going to do that anymore. You might see some excessive panting or something like that. That's fine. That'll organically fix itself. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Because all this stuff is going to cross transfer so that like when you are at the vet's office and stuff, like it all just like, mm -hmm. like I said, cross transfers. There's nothing going on right here in this right. house. Could you imagine though if we were at the vet and there was like three or four other dogs? Like you'd be embarrassed. Yeah. You'd be stressed. Mm -hmm. And he'd really be stressed. So. Hi. Hi. And so even though I bonked him, we're good. He's all right. He's not afraid of me. Huh. And then we pray.
praise and reward this. 